Russian czar, I mean, sorry, prime minister, loves Twitter. Google Plus, find my face. And pulling a fast one on old Hoosiers. Welcome to Online Adeline. LOL. <laughs> like, are you online? <laughs> Facebook me, bro. XO. Hey, I'm Lauren Gilmore. And I'm Joshua Swanson. The Russian prime minister understands that Twitter can help him reconnect with his people. After being booed at a wrestling match, Putin took to his Twitter account and retweeted, it has become clear that if a person writes the expression, party of swindlers and thieves in their blog, then they are a stupid sheep getting in the mouth. Smiley face. Putin's people have earned the title Party of Swindlers and Thieves after the legitimacy of the nation's elections have been called into question. The tweet ended with, those who are guilty will be punished. No smiley face this time. Seems like an honest guy to me. Google Plus has quietly introduced facial recognition. This opt-in feature is called Find My Face. Once on, every time a user adds a photo of you, your name will pop up as a suggested tag. I turned it on and it kept tagging my face on photos of Halle Berry. No, it didn't. Yeah, okay, you're right, it didn't. Senior Hoosiers are the latest target in a social media scam. Con artists are studying elders' Facebook pages and learning about their families. Then they pretend to be a grandchild in financial trouble and ask them to wire money. You know, it's just so sad that scammers are totally ruining Facebook for old people. I know, without Facebook, now I actually have to call my grandmother. You don't call your grandma. <sighs> no, I don't. Page Rage is a new app that allows Facebook users to dress up their profiles just like MySpace circa 2007. Ironically, the clutter of MySpace pages was the main reason why Facebook, with its simple design, was able to take over as the number one social network. Yeah, I and mean, I, I really miss the migraines, the nausea, the utter confusion, the mini seizures I got while looking at MySpace pages. Help me, I'm in <laughs> MySpace. Ah. Facebook wants to know how you feel about Facebook. So they hired NeuroFocus, a company that analyzes brainwave patterns to better understand users' emotions. The study was conducted to prove to companies that Facebook warrants significant advertising dollars. The results? Facebook garnered a higher emotional response than Yahoo and the New York Times homepages. However, we aren't really sure that this proves anything, considering that Facebook footed the bill. Wait, Facebook has ads? I'm way too focused on uploading pictures of myself to take notice. That makes sense. Oh, come on, don't pretend like you don't do it. <sighs> okay, Facebook is a magical place. <laughs> Thanks for watching Online Adeline. I'm Joshua Swanson. And Grandma, I promise I'll call you after the show. No, you won't. No, I won't.